Alright. Everybody know what a rounding hammer is? Let me change hands here. Well, freaking rounding hammers run anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks. And uh, they look pretty unique to me. Blacksmiths like to use them. They use a round side for drawing stuff out and the other side for uh, flattening or general blacksmithing. Anyway, I've been wanting to try one out, but I'm not, wasn't quite ready to spend the money on it. So I took this uh, lineman's, Klein lineman's uh, hammer that was had two flats on it and uh, cleaned up the flat side of it a little bit. And then I rounded the other side, which took me about an hour on my little uh, homemade uh, belt sander. But let's see. Yeah, here you can see a little bit better. So you can tell that that's rounded. There's the flat side. So you can hammer on one side, switch over without changing hammers, hammer on the other side, switch back, take your hammer marks out of it. Anyway, there's a uh, rounding hammer for about 20 bucks. Uh, got the hammer from a friend I went and visited. Asked him if he had one. He said, don't have a rounding hammer, but I got one you can make one out of. So I said, okay. And I grabbed it, and here is the uh, belt sander that I built it on. The homemade belt sander. A $30 homemade belt sander. And I've got a YouTube video of that. Only changes I've made only change that I've made to the uh, belt sander since I did the original video was this is a low RPM motor. It must be like 1300 RPM or something. But uh, I had a smaller wheel on here. And with the setup that I've got, this doesn't have the motor, doesn't have any kind of feed or anything on it. So I had this motor built in a crate a long time ago. And the way I built it when I threw it up there, five inches as large as I could go with it, so. But, uh, worked great. And I sanded that rascal, took me about an hour or so. And that's what he ended up with. So, I'll have to do some, uh, have to do a little blacksmith work with it and see how I like it. And I may end up rounding it out a little bit more. I don't know. I'll have to decide once I start using it. But anyway, there it is. And uh, thanks, John. John Z, appreciate the uh, deal on the hammer. So now there's a uh, two and a half pound lineman's hammer, now a rounding hammer for a blacksmith. Cheers. And I got 20 bucks in about an hour's worth of time in it instead of a hundred or two hundred dollars cheers <laughs>